All right, today we're going to talk about the power right hand, how to throw it. It's really very easy. All you do is you take your left foot, point it towards your opponent, right foot, assume that you're right-handed, put it off just a little bit to the center, get on the balls of your feet so you got good balance, okay? You don't want your feet too close because it's easy to get knocked back if you get hit, it can fall. You don't want your, your step too wide because if you're too wide, you can't reach your opponent, you can't have any power on your punches, and if he charges you, you can't get out of the way. So you want your feet about shoulder width apart. You want to be on the ball of your feet. And think about like a pole coming right down the middle of your body. And when you throw your punch, you pivot. See my foot? Pivot. Pivot. And it's just going to be like shutting the door. Okay? But when I connect, I take that energy off my foot, off the ball of my foot. It comes up my leg, up through my, my shoulder and my chest. And when I punch on impact, I drop my thumb down. That's going to get that last little bit of pop. And when I pop, I'm going to try to go ahead and try to sink my hand in through his entire body. That's how I'm going to get the power in that punch. Okay? So I'm here. That power right hand, you can throw it to his ribs or you can throw it to his chin. See that? And if you're in a life or death situation and a bigger guy's coming at you, he's got a weapon or it's more than one guy, you can throw it to his throat and um, there's a good possibility you can kill him. So you never do that unless it's an unfair fight. Um, when I say unfair, I'm saying more than one opponent or your opponent has a weapon because if you hit him in his throat with the proper power he will be dead okay but you want to practice it in case you ever need it another deadly shot with the right hand it's the hard shot you throw to his heart so that is just like the throat shot you can kill him with it not as easily a lot of times it's giving him a heck of a jolt, but it's a dangerous punch to throw. And um, you really need to think about these shots before you throw them because they can be deadly. But uh, that's the power right hand. Okay, last time we talked about the power of right hand and how to throw it. Remember you got in your in your foot stand, you got in your stance with your um, left foot pointed toward your opponent, uh, your right foot just a little bit back, and when you punch you pivot, remember? Punch you pivot. And that's on any punch. Any punch you throw, you pivot. You know, when you throw that left hand, pivot. If you throw um, you know, uppercut, pivot. Because the pivot it's the power was what breaks your punch. You're twisting your hips into your opponent. See? Huh? It's all because you pivot. Now, I'm throwing wide, uh, open punches. You don't throw open punches if you can. You always punch right down the straight the center. But you can also uh, throw these here open punches. I'm doing it to exaggerate a point. Most of your punches are coming straight. See it? Yeah. Punch. So, but you see, it's all off the pivot. It's all off the pivot. Okay? Say the guy gets you down. You gotta drop down because he's getting the best of you. Come up. Both hands right there at his face. Next time, talk about a few more techniques.